I refuse in the spirit of Jackson. Yeah, Okay, if you can't I'm running out of this, no, running out of, you know, running out of breath. That's a very interesting story. It is. What are they like? Whoa, right? What is wrong? So apparently, yeah, the people or representatives or staff. It's Friday. Hello, everybody. Hola, todos. El mundo. Also, I could say hello. Uh, uh, do you speak French? I do. So, how do you say hello, everybody? And Hola. No. It's hello <laughs> to le monde. <laughs> Or we can also say Aquaba or Biara, ah. maybe, ever which one you want. But welcome to Breaking Bites right here on 3 Music Digital. My name is Terry Tastic and we've got news for you. I'm not doing this alone. I've got my co-pilot. My name is Nakashi and as usual, you can also call me Juji Coco. Davido is making money moves. He is that guy making all the billionaire moves. Now guess what? He's come out to secure a partnership deal with United Masters to launch his own record label called Nine Plus Records. Nice. Right. So with, with this, he's aiming at projecting up and coming artists. So if you do not know what United Masters is, it's one of the leading distribution companies in America that caters for independent artists. Mm, nice. That yeah. looks like a huge deal and going you know, on. You know, recently he also sold out his show in Madison Square Garden mm. and performed for over 19,000 people. It wow. got so nostalgic when Stoneboy had to join him on stage to perform their smash it. Activate. Activate. It was so fire. It sent the it whole so crowd fire. into a frenzy. I remember right. that. Yeah, because that happened a couple of days ago. But Wonderful story. So in our next story, Jam Rock Events and Bar Center is actually taking Ghanaian artist Mr. Drew to court for failing to show up during a very important event that they had called the Easter Dance Party Event. Now they are saying that they actually did not get any message from him preempting them that they are, uh, Mr. Drew himself is actually not going to show up at the event to perform. So they are actually wanting to take him to court to make sure that he is, um, maybe they're reimbursed for the amount of money that they pay uh, Mr. Drew. This is actually very interesting. It is, but why, why would you accept incentives if you know you're not going to show up for a show? This was not even an incentive. This was actually a payment. Because they, yeah, oh. they did half the payment in advance. So half the <laughs> fee was actually paid in advance. And then without any reason, he actually backed out of the show without telling anyone. And that's pretty interesting. I will be equally offended if I were, of course, you know, the management of, of Jamrock Bar and Event Center. But what do you think of this whole story? I feel like this it, this is very common in Ghana because mm. this is not the first time I've heard of a story like that. The other time it was Shatawale who was taken to court because he failed to show up for a paid event. And I feel like as a creative, mm -hmm. you should spell out the reasons for for not showing up in situations like this because you are going to leave the other person wanting because on the bill we know that you are the one coming to perform but then you embarrass us and i feel like it's not a good thing yeah and the story actually goes on to say that on the day of the event mr drew and his team checked into the hotel but later uh they just uh they tried to reach them and they were out of sight then it, means, to be it means that it means that there's an underlying issue Yes, because but whatever the situation to... is, they should have at least preempted them. That's, yeah, unless, of course, there's a missing link. But it went on to say that Mr. Drew even recorded a video confirming his attendance after mm. getting paid. So what could possibly be this issue? Eventually, Mr. Drew and his team left the hotel without performing and then driving past the event venue and returning to Accra. I wonder that what the main issue Very interesting. Was. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's quite the story out there. I, I don't know what to make of it, but I'm just hoping that whatever it is, it's actually resolved yeah. and resolved properly. But anyway, next story. With our next story, I don't know if I should be so hyped over it or I don't know. No, but I'm all ears. You, you know what? Ira Style met Rihanna ah. and it was just flames. It will it certainly be. It was just be. flames. So it, <laughs> it was just like a dream come true for Ira Star, mm -hmm. as she met Rihanna at the Fenty X Puma Creeper Party Airtone launch party in London. That's quite the name. Yeah, <laughs> in London. And if you follow Ira Star for a while now, you would understand 
where I am coming from because she is that person that always says in all her interviews that she would want to work with Rihanna. Oh yes, and she said she, that a lot. And true to this, they were seen hugging, blowing kisses. It was just so friendly. Yeah, and the funny thing is, Rihanna actually heard about Ira Star from her own family yeah, members. Yeah, you know, a cousin yeah. actually showed, mm -hmm. a, you know, a song of Ira Star to her, and then she right. started really getting into the vibe of Ira Star. And then now they're actually looking at the possibility of a collaboration, collaboration together, which is that so is nice. wonderful, right? Yeah. But I like the fact that people in the diaspora are actually coming together yeah, with Africans right yeah, now to start making yeah, some magic it's happen. It's so beautiful. It Wonderful. is so beautiful. Now, you know, the new collection that Rihanna has, the new addition, actually, that she's added to her collection is going for a cool $140. Just are you going to call for that? Oh, yes. I've seen pictures and they are so that. nice. They're oh, so yeah, beautiful. Yeah. You'll see me the very color soon. Blending You'll see. I'll bring it here on Breaking Box. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Ah, that's very wonderful. Right. Oh, and here's another wild one. So someone actually tried to sneak into the airport tarmac oh, at yeah. Kotoka International <laughs> Airport. You know, the flight that was actually on its way to London. That's a very interesting story. It is. What about like, wow, right? Is so apparently, yeah, the people or representatives or staff of Avians actually mm -hmm. spotted him and called the cops on him. Because of course, you know, he didn't have a passport and didn't have anything that shows that he had the right documentation to travel with. Very interesting story. But, well, everyone's kind of scratching their heads about how he got there. But I think uh, they probably will get it sorted out mm -hmm. once they get... Yeah, but again, people are also thinking that it's possible he actually sneaked in through the bushes into the airport. I mean, anything is possible. Very possible. If you want to run like that. But how did he get past everything it's, it's i find it yeah. really tricky everything and get into like he to was be at the really airport tarmac. yeah like how it, personally i think we really need to beef up security if we want this to work properly because i am sure there are some people who Sorry, are probably this story is so through. funny it's yeah. very funny like i so i saw a picture of the guy you guys can take a look right yeah. now on the screen so it, young it's, it's funny it, it's I'm just like, funny how is that how it works <laughs> Uh, I so so here's the thing. I, I feel that it's also the way that you know living abroad has been marketed for a lot of people. Yeah. So they're actually thinking that going there means you're moving to the land of gold, bro. We should have just let him go. Then he'll realize what huge <laughs> grievous mistake he actually made. But anyway, on that note, this is where we bring you the end of Breaking Bites right here in Three Music Digital. My name is Sarah Tastic. And of course, my name is Nakoshi. Let us know about your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let us know what you think about all these stories. Like this video, subscribe to join this wonderful family if you haven't done that, because you know that we've got you covered with anything entertainment. Right, right on. And don't forget that Three Music Digital's Breaking Bites is brought to you by Waka Now. Of course, if you need all your travel and tour, you know, processes done for you, you know exactly where to be. On that note, see you later.